bought this Telesyn Smart Tracking Pan and Tilt Rotation Device to attach to my tripod to help improve my videos and still photography. It costs $59 including postage on eBay and it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I'm not going to bore you with unpacking the box so instead I'll show you what came in the box. Firstly the unit itself is a Telson Smart Tracking Pan and Tilt model number TEGPYT001. It comes with a remote controller, uh, a USB cable for charging and this long piece of paper that calls itself a user guide. This is my first negative. The print and monocoloured graphics on this user guide are far too small for an old fart like me to read. Add to that the print colour is about 60% black on sort of a white satin paper. So that makes it even harder to read. So we're not off to a good start and on closer inspection the user guide is more a brief on what it could be used for but lacks any real instructions on how you could actually use it. Thankfully the Telson Smart Tracking uh, Pan and Tilt looks pretty simple to use so it shouldn't be too hard to work out. First I'll need to charge it up with the USB cable supplied and uh, I'll do that and hopefully we can get back in a few hours and have a good play with it. Wow, three hours gone already. How time flies when you're having fun. The Smart Tracker is designed as an accessory for a tripod to mount cameras onto it. If you wanted to mount a mobile phone, then you'd need an attachment for that, which can be purchased separately or bundled in other packages. I'm only using a basic still camera and a camcorder, both of which have the standard quarter inch mounting nut under them, so this is all I need. To save some time, I'll just mount my camera onto the Smart Tracker, then onto a tripod, so I'll be back in a few secs. Okay, I'm back. That took a bit longer than I thought. Uh, there we have it. My camera is mounted uh, onto the Smart Tracker, onto my mini tripod. So let's turn it on and take it for a spin. One short press of the switch on the back, uh, turns it on, and you should be able to see a little blue light, yep, uh, come on on the front. A long press will turn it off. There we go, it's off. Now we'll turn it back on again. Yep, it's on. Grab the remote controller and let's see if we can get it working. Okay, there's a little switch on the side here, we'll turn that on. I'm pressing the buttons but nothing's happening. I wonder if there's a battery in it. Let's have a quick look. Oh. Yep, no battery. Okay, we'll have a look at the uh, useless guide and see what it says about a battery. Yep, absolutely nothing about a battery. This user guide is as useful as tits on a ball. Okay, I'm going to need to go up to the... Uh, electronic shop and see if I can grab a battery for it so I'll be back soon. Okay I'm back again. The guys at JCAR Malaga in Western Australia were very helpful. They recommended a 3 volt CR2032 button battery like this one. Uh, I've already fitted the battery to the remote and I've got this one as a spare so let's just switch this unit on and see if we've got it working. Yeah, yep, lights on on the front. Uh, I've got the remote here. I think we'll turn it on there. And look at that. It's, uh, it's going. Look, I'm going to take another short break and have a play with it. Then I'll come back and show you how it works and give you my final findings. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? Now I'll show you how to use the Telesyn Smart Tracking Pan Tilt. This is the remote. It's pretty basic. The controls on it are, the control markings I should say, are a little bit hard to read, much like the user guide. But anyway, it does work. We'll just turn the unit on again, just a short press, 
and we should have that going. Yep, got that going. Okay. Holding the unit with the small button towards the top seems to work the best. If we uh, press the left button, the camera will rotate around to the left. And if we press the right button, it will rotate around to the right. Now, if you want to do a full rotation, left or right, the top button will do a full rotation to the left. And we'll let that go all the way around. There we go. And then it will stop. Uh, so that's done a full 360 degrees. And again, if you did the, uh, wanted to go right, you could use the bottom button there. We'll make it rotate around to the right. Now, if you want to stop that anywhere, you can use the center button, hit it, and it'll stop. So that side of it's pretty simple. And... Uh, I'll give it another break for a second and I'll come back and I'll show you how to use the tracking uh, part of the uh, device, which is really simple, really good. Okay, back soon. Okay, so I had to um, uh, pause for a bit to set up the, uh, the camera. Now what I've done is I've put my uh, little still camera on top of the uh, Telson Smart Tracker, which is on my mini tripod. Um, and I've got my uh, video camera behind that. So when I start to use the tracking device, uh, you'll see the camera move as it follows me. So the button on the uh, remote, the small button at the top, if we click that on, a little white light comes on on the main unit. I'll just grab over here and you can see, hopefully see that. Uh, see the blue light and the white light. Not sure whether that's going to show on the video, but anyway, we'll just put this uh, back here again. Now, that will follow my movements now. So, uh, because it's picking up uh, me and its little um, uh, sensor. So, if I stand up here, you're not going to see my face, but if I move over to the side, you can see the camera's moving. If I move back over here, it will follow me over here, and it will follow me further over this way. I'll come back into view, and you can see the camera's rotating around, and it's following my every movement. I wish there was a better way that I could show you this, but this is the only way I could work out how to do it. So that's, uh, that's basically that. I'll, uh, I'll finish this off in a, in a couple of seconds. I'll just reset up the, uh, the video and we'll be back again. Back soon. Okay, so here's the conclusion of, of the uh, Telson Smart Tracking Pan Tilt. I'm disappointed as to the tilt function as its name would suggest. I assumed that Pan Tilt meant Pan and Tilt, but that's clearly not the case. It's pan or tilt, and not both. To use it as a tilt function, you would need to rotate the Smart Tracker 90 degrees on your tripod, then use the left and right buttons to tilt the camera up or down. I think the Telson Smart Tracking Pan Tilt could be somewhat useful, but it lacks any speed adjustment. I feel the Smart Tracking feature will be the most useful, provided you allow for the initial jerking when it starts and stops. Again, that motion could be easily edited out. The lack of documentation and the missing battery for the remote uh, was a bit of a Bummer. But overall, it's reasonable value for the 60 bucks Australian, and if anything, it's a bit of fun to play with, uh, bringing some movement into what's otherwise a still video. I hope you've enjoyed my first product review. Be sure to hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more in the future, please hit the subscribe button. I welcome any feedback, good or bad, as it can only help me improve my videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve from madaboutlead.com. I specialise in LED conversions for caravans and motorhomes. I hope to meet you out there on our travels, exploring this great country. Bye for now.